Well, we're back, folks. Back, ladies and gentlemen, with the second round of the show. Um, I want to salute uh, Pat Morrow and Bobby Dupre. I talked to Bobby the other day, and, and so did I talked to Pat. And for the contributions they make to our parish and all the functions they help. And, you know, if ever a ticket's to be sold for something, you can bet Pat's got a dozen or two of them. And, uh, mm -hmm. and also uh, Bobby. Bobby's a big mm -hmm. supporter. Um, everything him. I, I went to the Soiree Royale. Yeah. Last night, and I didn't, uh, I didn't see him, but uh, boy, all the politicians were out there, man. Oh yeah. Donald Cravens. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, Edward Geary. Yeah. Don Menard. And all the politicians. I saw uh, <laughs> Mr. Ruder. Yeah. You know who that is? Mr. Ruder. I saw him, Don Williams, and his pretty wife Blaine. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Richard LeBlanc and his wife Sheila came yeah. with Miss Pat, James, and I, and uh, it was nice, man. Boy, they had some food over there, man. Sure enough. Yep. Charlie Jagno. Uh, they had a good crowd over there, man. Um, they put that on every year, folks. You ought to uh, check that out. Uh, you could probably locate them, uh, some information on that uh, at uh, the Chamber of Commerce. That would probably be the best place. Mm. Anyway, it was good. I saw Gina and Dave Tuttle. Hadn't seen them in a long time. So that was pretty cool, yeah, all man. kind of people out, huh? That's right. Yeah. Uh, Craig Belton. A 107.7. <laughs> huh? 107. Soon to be 88.3. Yeah. I ran into Craig at the uh, store the other day. Craig Belton. He said Craig. he's got a he's got a radio show from one to four. I think every day, and it's on KOCZ. KOCZ. He loves our show. He said, "Boy, y'all cut up on that show and stuff." I said, "Yeah, we do a lot." But uh, oh. Craig Belton. Craig I'm gonna have Belton. to check his show out. One to three, oh. every day. One to four. I'm sorry, oh. every day. So Craig Belton, we looking at you, man. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be listening. Craig Belton. Uh huh. Uh, I got a beautiful subdivision on the north side of Opelousas that is gorgeous. It's got a big lake with fingers to it, you know, and then of course the main body of water. And uh, it's got lots all around it, and you can build your house on a lake stocked with big bass and brim, copper nose mm -hmm. brim, and uh, just some good fishing. And you can walk out your back door on your pier and get in your boat and go fishing. Yeah. Get your cool? fish right there and have your dinner there with the fish right That's there. That's right. You can fry fish right there good at your house on your fish, pier. Good old baked fish, all kind of fish. There you go. So uh, check and me out, man. Give me a call. Uh, give me my number, Steve. Don't forget about our office located on Highway 190. And yep. We got an office on Highway 190. Yeah. And... Uh, Don't yeah, forget you, about Dejan White Insurance Agency. That's right. And uh, yeah, give me a call if anybody's interested in building. I have one uh, man right now that's, that lives in Alec and he wants to be, he works in Baton Rouge and he wants to be at a kind of halfway point. So he said it was great for him and he loves to bass fish, got a place Ooh. to lead a bin. Boy, you have him a nice piece of property there. Did he like to fish? <laughs> oh, that's a nice lake, boy, I'll tell you. There's our office okay. for, for lease on Highway 190. 190 East. That's right. Nice, beautiful office with 12 parking space. 12 parking spaces. And, it's got uh, yeah. uh, you can call nice us office, at, handicapped at, bathrooms. And that's correct. Another private bathroom for the big boss's yeah, office. Yeah, and that's right. Just a nice place to, and, and good, good. Good uh, location. Yeah, visibility. So uh, give us a call on that too. Yeah. Um, then here come uh, my office, our office on 905 North Market Street. You can call and get some information on it and call at 337-945-6875. And the office is negotiable. Give us a call for sale or lease. And um, on the politics, man, they've been having the debates. And, uh, <laughs> oh, man. No, the debate is coming up. They haven't started yet. <laughs> Rick Perry says that the Social Security system is a Ponzi scheme. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Boy, he sure blew he himself. He sure blew, he blew the whole country when he did that. <laughs> Everybody that got a check gonna vote against him. <laughs> Well, well, I wonder how he made that mistake. I don't know, but I saw Dick Cheney was on TV the other day. <laughs> he's got he's got a heart, some kind of heart fibrillator. Or yeah. some kind of, he's got wires all you around him, you know, and he's got some kind of he, tube. I don't know how it works, but what it, is that? What it, what what it is does? That? Let me tell you what it does. Mm-hmm. It it pumps the blood into some kind of deal that that mixes it at eight thousand RPMs. Sure enough, and then it. Pumps it through the body, pumps it at a faster rate than his heart can pump it. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, he shouldn't get upset because uh, what's the name of that guy that was a general, the black guy, high general? He was on the Nixon, on the, not whose staff he was on. Oh, I know you're talking about Colin Powell. Colin Powell. They, he was on 60 Minute and debating him on his book and he had most of his book was talking bad about the uh about power and and uh and uh and uh what is his name our president i forgot his name Barack bush, Obama? bush 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 yeah his biggest thing on that book was criticizing bush and uh and power and boy, power got on and straightened him out on 60 Minutes, boy. That was who, who was doing that? Not on 60 Minutes, on uh, who was, was doing it? It was on 60 Minutes and on Bob Schiff, uh, Colin Power. He was knocking him down for, 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 for insulting the president and him. Who was he knocking down? He was knocking uh, Colin Power and uh, who? And, who? Uh, who? Who? Uh, Dick Cheney. Oh, Dick Cheney was knocking yeah. Colin Powell and yeah. President Bush? Yeah, in his book. Oh. He just wrote a book, you yeah, know. Yeah, I know. I saw that. I want to uh, read it. You read it? Uh-uh. I ain't read it. But uh, he, he was knocking both of them down. And he came on on a, on a Bob Schieffer show and straightened him out. Oh, yeah? Uh, and then he also came on uh, uh, 60 Minutes and straightened him out, too. <laughs> I want to... Uh... Yeah. Say happy birthday to uh, Grace Marks, my little niece, and uh, Grace Marks. Julie's, uh, Is that Julie's the Marks live, the, used to live on Jenner uh, Road? I don't, that's her. That's their daughter. Because I met some uh-uh. people that live on Jenner Road. No, she's a Dejon. Oh, right. she's a Dejon. She's a Dejon. You know, she's my sister. Oh, your sister. Yeah, okay. but she married a Marks, so that oh, yeah. makes her a Marks. Okay. Now you got it. I got it now. I and then, and her little girl's turning 12, Grace, so okay. happy birthday to her. And also <laughs> to Charlie Dupuy and Kiki Carr. Kiki Carr. Kiki Carr. They all had a birthday, man. They all had a birthday. Yep. Probably missing a lot of people, but that's all I know about right now. <laughs> huh? We went to uh, yeah. Seth's house, Seth Dupuy, and with his little fiance and uh, Charlie's two go- girls, Nicole and Allie. Sure enough. Allison, yeah. And, uh, of course, we had Brock there. Yeah. And we had, uh, that's, that's Seth's son, and we had uh, Seth's little girl there. Mm-hmm. That is, uh, no, that's Nicole's son, it's Brock. Yeah. Uh, Seth has a daughter. I can't remember her name now. Yeah. But anyway, she's cute, cute, cute. Sure enough. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Oh, I had. Some. I want to say hello to some of my show people, like Mr. D. Pat. I've been missing him. I haven't seen him. He retired from the post office. Mr. D. Pat, if you listen to the show, give me a call. Or let me know what's going on with you. If you're still looking at the show, because I hadn't been seeing you in a while. You used to be at Walmart all the time. I know I haven't been visiting Walmart as much as I used to, but. I'm hoping you're still looking at the show, you and your wife, and also Mr. Mesh. I still, we still going to talk about you, Mr. Mesh, working at the DA. You and your wife look at our show. I want to thank you for looking at the show. And I talked to the lady that works at the post office. They didn't get a name, though. She said, the I went one, to the post the, office to get a registered letter. Sure and enough. she said, yeah, she said, uh, you on TV. 
Yeah. Yeah, I said, that's right, boy. She was looking at me. She said, I know, I know who you are. I'm watching your show. A little short lady. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little lady. Yeah, she's very friendly. Yeah, listen to this. I wanted to mention this. You know, you're talking about WRP and paying $250 a neck. I want you to get this, people. $4 billion is given to illegal aliens a year. $4 billion. Ooh. Now, let me tell you how it works. They apply for an independent tax ID from the IRS, okay? Mm -hmm. Then tax ID from the IRS. they don't have to say they're illegal. And they send their tax ID number with their 1040. And, uh, and they claim dependence. And with the low income that they have, the government gives, sends refunds of $1,000 per child. <laughs> now look, oh, is that no. ridiculous? Oh, man. <laughs> huh? I can see why we have a, such a bad deficit. <laughs> that, that certainly is against the law, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, wait, man, well, where are all the tax dollars going? You know, the local guy <laughs> has to take a drug test <laughs> every, periodically at any time at, at the place he works. He's got to take a drug test. No. To be able to work at a company and make money to pay taxes to give people welfare and uh, food stamps, and they don't have, they're not subjected to a test. Mm -hmm. The other day I was in line, and they had, they had a woman in there. And they have these little credit cards, you know? Yeah, that's what they got. That's what they got. And uh, she had two, three bottles of Coke, and she had some potato chips and those Ooh, big fries, fry, French fry, you know, the, in the bag, and mm -hmm. uh, some candy and all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Put that on that card. That's right. You know? Yeah, I be, I be seeing it when I go to Walmart. They got that card. They'd be having all kind of stuff in that bag, in mm -hmm. that basket. Yeah, and, and 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 they go up there and they say, "Oh, you can't, you know, God's got some beer." And he says, uh, "Well, you, you can't, buy, you can't buy that." No, so, you can't uh, buy that. But so, they, they they got a way of buying it. Though. Yeah, they got a way of getting it. So, uh, anyway, he swapped something out with another customer in the store and said, "Look, I'll pay for this. You pay for this." And then he'd be all right. I wonder if they still, with that card, how they can do swapping. They can't swap with that card, huh? can they? Well, yeah. I mean, in the store, you can. Yeah. You know? Guy wants a six-pack of beer, and they say, you can't buy a beer with this card. So he, what he does, he goes and he, um, he finds another dude in the store buying something. You know, maybe he's got a couple of chickens or something. Mm -hmm. So he said, look. You take my beer and pay for my beer, and I'll pay for your chickens, and I'm gonna swap them and get out. Oh. See, that's how they do that. Oh no! Yeah, oh. they got all kind of schemes. <laughs> hey, we had a good show today, and we're good looking show. forward to yeah. having another one next week. So y'all join next in next week at the same time, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for looking and seeing. <laughs>